Okay, let me narrate this video before, uh, before it gets out of control. All right, so I'm not in Flagstaff anymore. I thought I'd give like a rundown of my time there since uh, things got kind of crazy and uh, just didn't really plan out the shots or anything there. So um, kind of just wanted to uh, lay everything out. And uh, yeah, for people who want to go there and whatnot. It wasn't the uh, final destination, but uh, unfortunately, Things happened and, uh, and yeah, um, but yeah, it's a good uh, halfway point um, if people are trying to get to California and whatnot. Uh, it, it just like with weather and stuff, like there's just so much rain and like rain warnings and flash flood warnings all over, like all across northern Arizona and then into New Mexico. Just when I started, like I got into Gallup and it just started raining and I was like, oh shoot, you know, I'm going to go back um, because there's just so much rain. So um, actually that's why I headed down to Phoenix because uh, Flagstaff was like, it was in a state of emergency, it was flooded. So I went down to Phoenix, but that was like way too dang hot. So I headed north to Holbrook and I was just kind of sitting there. It's like, what do I do? I want to get to Flagstaff but Flagstaff is like a state of emergency and flooding and whatnot. So um, I just kind of sat in Holbrook until they're like, holy crap, the whole Northern Arizona is under a flood watch. And uh, there was gonna be like inches of water and rain all over the freaking state. So <laughs> that state is just such a mess during the summer. Like the South is super hot and Phoenix is like super hot and crazy. And the North is just flooding. So, and I feel like that's where a lot of people go in, uh, in Arizona, like, when it's the summertime, they'll go north into Flagstaff because it's, like, all mountainy and it's a lot cooler. It's, like, a really, for summer, it's, in Arizona, it's, it's really, it's pretty nice weather, um, in the summer for sure. Like, it's just, like, 70s, high 80s. One time it was, like, 80-something, um, at its, like, peak, uh, hotness or whatever it was like 80 degrees and then uh, the cool it was like 60 something so it's perfect for people who um, I feel like a lot of van people probably do that in uh, Phoenix uh, they're like in Phoenix for like six months or whatever until it gets hot and they go up to north uh, up north to Flagstaff but the rain and the water is just so much for me um, it would just like just pour and just like thunderstorms all the time and I was talking to a guy in a coffee shop and he said he it normally does that like it's just nice and then two hours it'll just like pour rain and just flood so like I've never just I don't know just the uh, extreme amount of water I've never been in a flash flood that that was that crazy lightning strikes all around me like you'd see some clearing in the clouds but another storm would come in and just dump and just dump again and then just clear and then it would just start up again and just like constant just rain for hours upon hours and then it finally just kind of like drizzled later on which is intense and um but yeah i mean overall it's nice if it didn't like flood like that all the time it would be a great place because uh you know it's like a lot cooler and mountaineer and you know you could just get around with the shorts and you know shorts and t-shirt maybe a, a jacket if you need um unless you like really like heat or whatever but um but yeah it's a nice place aside from that um just the uh the areas where you can like park at and sleep at are very very slim they're they're pretty strict up there especially in the walmarts um the walmart said there's no overnight parking but I definitely saw people doing it, so whether they're enforcing that or not, I don't know. But I saw quite a few RVs, vans, campers, and whatnot at the Walmart. I never tried it, but um, the restaurant area that I went to um, was always stacked, just super stacked all the time. I'd have to like fit my car between vans and whatnot. So I assume there's a lot of like snowbirds and stuff there. Um, but aside from that, there was like a Flying J that was like freaking 20 minutes away, 15 miles away, 25 minutes, 15 miles. And, uh, 
that one was still kind of busy but um it was just so far away like the town is so small it's like a super small mountain town i should have probably started with that but it's a small mountain town that's like and i've grown up in colorado and it's just not it's just kind of like a miniature mountain town in my mind um it's still it's nice it's got nice shops and uh nice restaurants and everybody there is super nice um, but yeah, it's weird. You're like going in desert in Arizona, like you got desert and then you just hit mountains and then on the bottom part is just like a hot, like cactus desert. It's weird. And then the rest is just like plain desert. Like Arizona is such a weird state. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, if you're looking to do van or car life, you can definitely do it there. Um, there's just very very few spots that you can park overnight or park there and then uh, if you plan on doing like DoorDash and stuff like oof, the DoorDash there was a oh, tough game you'd have to wait until it light up red to to dash whereas like here or like any other major city you're just like you just go online you can go online anytime um, and yeah it was even hard to schedule like sometimes you could like pop in to schedule it but you didn't know what times and like the times were all it was just like you just have to catch it at a good time usually nights like 5 p.m to 7 p.m was like a good time for me to always go online but um yeah i just get like two hours of work and the pay was decent because you didn't have to like drive so far it was like two to three four maybe five miles at most and um the pay was pretty good um the apartments kind of stunk to find but um, but yeah, it was just, it was just hit or miss work. I think like one day I made like 30, 40 bucks or whatever. <laughs> so I, I was just kind of like, yeah, I just don't want to sit here and like make nothing, you know, each day. So yeah, I don't know. It's just a super small town. Uh, in the summertime, it's stacked with people who don't want to deal with the heat from Phoenix because Phoenix is just way better it's just way bigger and way better but it's just super hot it was like 93 degrees at midnight so that's why people go to flag and uh, enjoy like a mini nice mountain vacation thing so um, yeah I mean I would recommend it it's cool especially if you're like in that area and you don't want to deal with Phoenix like I'd recommend it it's a cool little area to go This is some good. The coffee train in Flagstaff, definitely, definitely like top notch tea. I've never had tea like this. It's like herbal mixed with like actual like sweet and herb and like deli and like coffee and mouth. Yeah, so that's my uh, rundown on Flagstaff. It's a good like middle area if you're hoping to get to California and beyond. It's a good area to just to rest and relax and chill out and enjoy the cool mountain weather um but wouldn't recommend uh doing too much there because it's just it's just so packed and so small during the summertime i believe i feel like a lot of people go up there during uh a lot of phoenix people go up there and even i'm sure people even have houses up there for the summer because phoenix is way too hot but uh yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I gotta do a few things here in New Mexico, and uh, hopefully we can continue the journey. So, uh, stay safe, lock your doors. Thanks for watching.